I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to evaluate an algebraic expression. Um, we have given you six expressions here. As an added exercise what you can do is you can try write them in words. So that will be a practice for you how to translate algebraic expression into words. However, in this particular video we will learn how to evaluate now evaluate means find the value of right so evaluate means find the value of of so <clears throat> the question here is evaluate each algebraic expression if a equals to 3 so we are given the value of the variable it could be anything so for the time being we are assuming a to be 3 for all the given algebraic expressions so one by one we are going to evaluate them as a practice question you can pause the video copy this list of algebraic expression substitute the value of a as 3 and evaluate each one of them and then you can check with my solution right so that will be a good practice so let's begin from the very first one it is 5 times a minus 1 in words you could say uh, 1 less than 5 times a number right so when I say 5 times a minus 1 and a is 3, it really means that I am going to replace a with 3, right, in this equation. So we are given value of a, which is 3. Note, I am not writing any multiplication sign. So if I'm, when I write number with a variable, as shown here, it means product. You need to multiply 5 times 3 is 15. So we'll get 15 minus 1 and that is equals to 14. That is how you should be evaluating algebraic expressions. Well, you can still pause the video, do the rest and check with my solution. So let's do them one by one. 2a plus 3. It means 2 times we need to substitute the value of a and then add 3. a is given to us as 3. So once I substitute a as equals to 3, we need to apply the order of operations. So first thing is you multiply 2 times 3 is 6. So get 6 plus 3, that is 9. So the value of this expression is 9. The next one is 7 minus 2 times a. And what is a? a is 3 for us. So we'll write 3 here. So now let us evaluate for a equals to 3. We have 7 minus. You have to first multiply, right? Do not do 7 minus 2. That would be wrong. Remember order of operation. So 2 times 3 is 6. 7 minus 6 is 1. So that is the right answer. Next one. 4 times within bracket 2 times a. And uh, I will write a small bracket for a. Minus 4. a is 3 for us. So I will substitute the value 3 for a. And then calculate. We will do it in a couple of steps. First, inside bracket, correct? So 2 times 3 is 6. We get 6 minus 4. Now again inside bracket, 4 times 6 minus 4 is 2. And 4 times 2 is 8. Follow these steps to get the right answer. The next one here is a divided by 3. a is 3 for me, so I'll write 3 for a. Now a is 3. 3 divided by 3. What do I get? I get just 1. And here, the next one is product of consecutive numbers a and a plus 1. See how we get these consecutive numbers. I am substituting, well, I should substitute uh, 3 for a, right? So, let me do that. So, I will substitute 3 for a. So, 3 and within brackets, I need to write 3 plus 1. So, 1 and for a I am going to substitute 3. So what do I get? I get 3 times 3 plus 1 is 4. So 3 and 4 are consecutive numbers. They come after one another. So that is a meaning, right? And that is what this expression represents. 3 times 4 is indeed 12, right? This one is very important and remember what are consecutive numbers. What I find is that students do not really understand such questions. If I write product of consecutive numbers, 
it becomes difficult for them to write as an expression. This is the expression for product of consecutive numbers. If I say sum, then you have to write a plus, a plus 1. I hope that helps. So it also helps you to evaluate expressions and also understand once again how to write the expressions in words. Thank you and all the best.